Alison Hell, 16. Alison sat with Vicky Vale in Dark Offram's chief library. It was full of books and it was an old world sort of feel to the place. It was very traditional looking and traditional smelling. It had that animistic smell, all right. It smelt like an ancient world in a lot of ways. And there were sections of the library from having a look around which had old books on it. She sat there with Vicky Vale, who smiled at her. Glad to see you taking an interest in reporting, said Vicky Vale. It's the finest of professions to me. Look at this, she said. Alison opened up the manila folder. Cyber pets. Yeah, I know. Very unethical, said Vicky Vale. Lex should be ashamed of himself, but he doesn't care. Look at the next page. Military technology. Lex Corps is in bed with Black Bane Industries, said Vicky Vale. Look at the next page. Harvesting of body parts. That's actually illegal here, said Vicky Vale. They do it anyway. Black market stuff. But the worst is about the power behind it all. Look at the last page. The nameless one. Blood sacrifices. You can't really kill people very permanently in the animistic realm, in the arcana. They come back because it's a dream state, said Vicky Vale. But the nameless one has sacrifices which imbues the blood life of the creature, the person, into him to get stronger. He does it regularly. It's a horrible, abhorrent abomination of a practice. And Lex Core and Lex and Black Bane know all about it, and they provide souls for the nameless ones, frills. Hard to fight, but Batman is concerned. But that's what we're up against. Exposing this evil, naming it for what it is. This was very sobering to Alison. Obviously, Dark Gotham really did have a lot of darkness associated with it.